Hello fellow people, here is the new Think Understand video. Refer to the speed at 1.25x. In this video, let us discuss Vapnik Sharoan and case dimension or VC dimension. Considering a binary classification problem. For example, we want to classify an image as either a cat or a dog. Assume that we have only two instances. Two instances can be classified in four different ways. In the first case, the two images can be both cats. Second case. Image 1 can be a cat. And image 2 is a dog. In the third case, the first image dog and the second image cat. In the fourth case, both are dogs. Let us draw a scatter plot. Instead of a cat and dog, let us consider the positive class and the negative class. Let the green dot represent the positive class and the red dot represent the negative class. Case 1 both classes are positive. Case 2 first, data positive class, and second, data negative class. Case 3, first data negative class and second data positive class. Case 4, both classes are negative. That means we can classify the two instances or two data points in four different ways. Now, assume that we have three instances of data. Case 1 all belongs to positive class. Case 2. The first two belong to the positive class. And the last one belongs to the negative class. Case 3 is positive negative positive. Case 4 is positive negative negative. Case 5 is negative positive positive. Case 6 is negative positive negative. Case 7 is negative negative positive. Case 8 all belongs to the negative class. That means if you have three data points, they can be classified in eight ways. In general, if you have n data points, they can be classified into two rays to n in different ways. Now, let us go back to the scatter plot with two points. Assume that the classifier is a straight line. Let us check whether the two data points can be correctly classified using a straight line. Take case 1. Draw a straight line below the two points. The model classifies all the points above the line as positive class and below the line as negative class. That means the two points are correctly classified in this case. Take the second case and draw a line between the two points. Again, the points are classified correctly. Take the third case and draw the line between the two points. Consider all the points above as negative class and below as positive class. Again, the points are correctly classified. In the fourth case, data points can be correctly classified by drawing the line above the two points. That means it is possible to draw a line that separates positive and negative points in all four cases. We can say that the straight line or the linear functions are expressive enough to shatter two points on a two-dimensional plane. What do you mean by shattering? A set of endpoints is said to be shattered by hypothesis pace h if there are hypotheses in h that separates positive examples from negative examples in all of the two rays to n possible ways. In the previous example, the hypothesis space is a set of all straight lines in the two-dimensional plane. The hypothesis MOLAC is a specific straight line in the set of consecutive lines. If there is hypothesis H, that means if there is any straight line in the set of consecutive lines, correctly classifies data points in all four possible ways. Hence, a line can shatter two points on a two-dimensional plane. Now consider the case of three data points. Check whether a straight line can correctly classify all eight possible combinations. In the first case, it is possible. Second case, it is possible. In the third case, it is not possible because we cannot find a straight line that can separate the two classes correctly. In the fourth case, it is possible. Fifth, the case is possible. Sixth, the case again not possible. Seventh case, it is possible. And eighth case, also possible. In this example, out of the eight possible ways, two cases cannot be correctly classified using a straight line. Now let us have another set of three data points. Check whether it is possible to classify using a straight line. In the first case, it is possible. All points above the line are positive and below the line are negative. In the second case, again possible. All the points below the line are positive, and those above the line are negative. In the third case, possible. 
In the fourth case, possible. In the fifth case, possible. Sixth case is possible. Seventh case possible, and eighth case, also possible. We say that a straight line can shatter three data points in a two-dimensional plane. It may not be able to shutter every possible set of three points in two dimensions. There may be some set of points that may not be shuttered, but it is enough to find one set of three points that can be shuttered. Now consider the case of four points. There are 16 different ways of classification here. We cannot find a single set of four points that can be shuttered by a straight line. That means the maximum number of points in a two dimensional plane that can be shuttered by a straight line is three. We say that the VC dimension of a straight line in a two-dimensional plane is 3. The maximum number of points that can be shattered by H is called the VC dimension of H. VC dimension is one measure that characterizes the expressive power or capacity of the hypothesis class. Now find the VC dimension of axis-aligned rectangle. Axis-aligned rectangle means the edges of the rectangle are parallel to the coordinate axis. Take two data points. We assume all the data points inside the rectangle as positive and outside the rectangle as negative. In case 1, it is possible to row an axis-aligned rectangle to classify positive and negative classes. Case 2 again it is possible. Case 3 is possible, and case 4 is also possible. Hence, the axis-aligned rectangle can shatter two points in a two-dimensional plane. Consider three points. In case 1 it is possible. Case 2 is possible. Case 3, possible. Case 4, possible. Case 5, possible. Case 6, possible. Case 7, possible. And case 8 is also possible. Hence axis-aligned rectangle can shatter three points on a two-dimensional plane. Consider four points. In case 1, it is possible. Case 2 is possible. Case 3, possible. Case 4, possible. Case 5, possible. Case 6, possible. In case 7, it is possible. Case 8, possible. Case 9 is also possible. Case 10 is possible. Case 11 is possible. Case 12, possible. Case 13, possible. Case 14, possible. Case 15, possible. And case 16 is also possible. Hence, the axis-aligned rectangle can shutter four points on a two-dimensional plane. We cannot find any set of five points that can be shuttered by an axis-aligned rectangle. Since four is the maximum number of data points that can be shuttered by an axis-aligned rectangle, the VC dimension of the axis-aligned rectangle in the two-dimensional plane is four. Please let me know if you understood. For more interesting videos, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.